Today on Diesel Insights, we're going to cover map sensors and particularly map sensor upgrades. Now the truck behind me here, this 2.8 liter Canyon, is really ripe for a map sensor upgrade because from the factory it comes with one of the lower reading map sensors. All right, Nick, you said map sensor four times. What the hell's map sensor? Manifold air pressure. Okay, so we're measuring manifold air pressure, which is everything from vacuum up to full boost. So 14.7 would be atmospheric, you know, throttle blades open, everything's flowing perfectly. Anything over that would be boost at atmosphere. The factory map sensor on the Canyon is rated to about 47 PSI total. So if you subtract 14.7 off of that, uh, you get somewhere in the low 30s. Should have wrote that down, right? But that would be your total measurable boost. I'll tell you, using the edge monitor on the Canyon, I usually see about 29 PSI of boost. And anything past that, the map sensor is maxed out. So when your map sensor is maxed out, you run into a host of problems. The problems associated with a maxed out map sensor go beyond just your frustration with not seeing how much boost you're making and being able to show your friends. The problems go towards turbo control. So the turbocharging control system that is the variable geometry actuator and the vari variable geometry turbine on the turbocharger work off of a desired boost system. So the ECM is calling for a boost number and that boost number is measured by the map sensor. If that map sensor can't read high enough to tell the ECU we've achieved the boost number, then the vanes can't do what they're supposed to do and the variable geometry turbocharger essentially loses control of the system and it'll either default to the maximum vane position or the minimum vane position. We don't want either of those things to happen. We want the turbocharger to be able to achieve the boost pressure that we desire in the ECM using our tuning and therefore we need to upgrade the map sensor in order to make that something that can happen. On a stock 2.8 liter, 29 pounds of boost is working the turbocharger fairly hard and upgrading the manifold air pressure sensor really isn't a critical detail. However, as we start to upgrade turbochargers on these trucks and any other truck that needs a map sensor upgrade for that matter, we need to make more than 29 pounds of boost to get us into that mid 200s, 250, 260, 270, up to 300 horsepower on the 2.8 liter. We're going to need 35, 37, close to 40 pounds of boost in order to make that number. Well, where do we find that map sensor? Well, as luck would have it, GM has a 6.6 .6 liter platform of the Duramax as well. Maybe you've heard of it. It's called the L5P. The map sensor is interchangeable with the 2.8 liter, save for the wiring end. The sensor will physically drop in place on the 2.8 liter. The nice thing about the L5P map sensor is that it reads out to 65 PSI total. Subtract 14.7 off of that, you're in the high 40s for a readable boost. Now as long as you go into the ECU and you rescale the sensor, what that means is that the ECU can now see boost all the way up to 45, 46, close to 50 pounds depending on the resolution on the sensor, but we'll call it high 40s for boost. It's a nice cheap upgrade, it's the sensor, it's the pigtail, and using all data you can uh, rearrange the wires so that you can get the ECU the signals and inputs that it needs in order to make sense of uh, the control. But once you do this upgrade, your digital dash, uh, your edge, your banks, whatever sort of uh, you know PID reading device you're using, will be able to read up to that high 40 boost number, and you will be able to have great turbo control on one of these larger turbochargers on the 2.8 liter platform. I hope this has been interesting for you. Uh, upgrading your map sensor can be a very useful thing, especially when running a higher output turbocharger uh, using variable ge variable geometry, variable vane control. I'm Nick Pregnant with Diesel Insights. If you enjoyed this one, subscribe to the channel. I love doing them. You love watching them. I'll see you next time.